Well, you want to create a loading screen in 2.9 Eevee Blender. Well, go ahead and start doing the limbo and then hit a bell. Low. Ding. That, I like that one. Hey guys, welcome back to That's by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back once again. And we're talking about a loading icon thing in Blender. Very simple. I've done little loading icon things before, but I really kind of want to do this one again because I really enjoy doing these. And there's so many different types you could do. I just really like them. So we're going to go ahead and first of all, I'm going to open up Blender, obviously. And you can see I have a custom scene here. I'm going to go ahead and just delete everything so nothing's here. And then we'll add everything together. So I just hit delete to delete everything. Then hit shift A and, and search for a camera right here camera and then hit alt g alt r to clear the rotation and location hit rx 90 on your keyboard and then uh yeah rx 90 uh on your numpad so 90 on your numpad hit enter to confirm that or left click to confirm it then hit g y to move the camera backwards and then hit zero to go into the camera's view now we can hit shift a and we can search for a couple of things here but what i'm going to do is i, I don't really want to do a circular one because we always do circular ones so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a cube today i want to do a cube so that's what we're going to do but instead of doing an actual cube we're going to do a plane because we don't need it to be an actual cube you know it's 2d so i'm going to hit uh rx 90 on my numpad uh to rotate that then left click to confirm that now, you can see it's quite big, but we'll, we'll fix all that later. So I'm going to scale it down just a little bit by hitting S like that. It's not going to be this big either, but we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Actually, I might, I might leave it this big. It might be kind of cool. I'm going to hit Tab to go into Edit Mode and hit I to inset our faces. So you can see we're insetting this now, so it's creating new faces. Um, something about maybe that thick. Left click to confirm that. I'm going to go ahead and go to Plane Select Mode up here in the top three. You see we have uh, Vertice, Edge, and Plane. I'm going to select Plane Mode. And then grab this piece in the middle and hit delete faces. Now you can see we have an empty hole in our cube, which is nice. That's what I want. Now we're going to go ahead and open the timeline up a little bit. And I'm going to change the in frame to, we'll just do 200 for now. Um, and we're going to go ahead and go down to the this tab right here, which is the object data tab. And we're going to hit uh, some shape keys on. So I'm going to hit this little button twice. Boop, boop. Uh, so we're going to have one that says basis and key one. I'm going to rename key one to uh zoomy that's zami that i don't know how to spell uh zoomy and we're going to change it to zoomy like that and what we're going to do with zoomy is i'm going to hit tab to go back into edit mode and we're going to go to vertically select mode grab all four of these vertices in the inside by holding down shift and then left clicking each single one of them so you can see i'm just grabbing all four of these in the inside and then hitting s to scale them up like that as you can see so what i want zoomy to be is i want zoomy to be completely like gone so actually what I want to do, instead of selecting all four of these individually, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn on magnet mode. And then we're going to change this from increment to vertex. Now what we're going to do is with one individual, with one individual vertice, I'm going to hit G to move it. And then I'm going to move it up here until it snaps onto this vertice, right? And then I'm going to grab this one and hit G and then snap that to the vertice down here. And then grab this one, hit G, snap it down there. Grab this one, hit G, snap it down there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit uh, tab to go back out of edit mode and you can see that now it's it's back the way that it was because zoomy now if we up the the value of this you can see that is this will disappear which is very cool uh very 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 cool so that's nice what i want to do though is i kind of don't want these all to be on the same exact um keyframe so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually go ahead and add a new uh shape key a second one so i'm going to call this one um zoomy's brother and this is going to be Zoomy's brother. Say hello to him. He was born 17 seconds after Zoomy. Um, and we're going to go ahead and hit tab once again. And then instead of doing all four of these vertices, we're going to only grab two of them. So I'm going to grab this one at G and then move this one up here. And then grab this one and hit G and move this one down there. So now you can see we have this like cool little, you know, kind of diamond thing going on. A little bit sideways diamond thing. Then we can hit tab to go back and edit mode. Now what, would the, now what this is going to do is this is going to actually do like this, which is very cool, right? So I'm going to leave all of these all the way up. Uh, well, not not Zoomy. I'm going to put, well, if we can't do Zoomy's brother. So we'll leave Zoomy all the way up and we'll, we'll put Zoomy's brother to zero. This sounds so dumb. Why didn't I, why didn't I name those things, these things? Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to change my, I'm going to make sure that my frame rate is on 60. My frame rate is on 60 right now. 
Um, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and start animating this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to animate the actual shape key so we can see something. So I'm going to go to Zoomy. And on frame zero, I'm going to hover my cursor over top of value and hit I to insert a keyframe. Now on frame 10, I'm going to change the value to approximately 0.2. Hit I, hovering our cursor over top of value. And then on frame 40, I'm going to change the value to zero. Hit I to change that down like that. Very cool. Now if we play this, you can see that it does like this, which is really cool. So it just kind of comes out of nowhere. And then it just, you know, looks cool. Very nice. Um, now on frame 100, I want to start messing with Zoomy's brother. So we're going to go ahead and actually use this as a precursor to the thing actually going to be, the thing actually going to squish itself back down. You'll see what I mean in a second. So uh, we're going to go ahead and change the value. Uh, we're going to hit, hit I with this on zero uh, on frame 100. Then on frame 110, I'm going to change the value of this practically all the way up. Just the same way we did before, but I'm going to put this on about like 0.65, hit I to insert that keyframe. Then on frame 140, we're going to go ahead and put that all the way up like that. Now, at the same time, I want to make on 130, on frame 130, uh, actually, you know, we'll do, we'll do on frame 135. So on frame 135, I want to go back to Zoomy, and then we're going to hit I to insert a keyframe. And then on frame 145, I'm going to change the value up to about one, about to about 0 0.8, 0 0.65, yeah, 0 0.65, 0 0.75, sorry, 0.75. Hover our cursor, hit I to insert that, and then we're going to go to frame 170, and then put it all the way up to one. Hit I. Now you can see we have an issue here because we're using Zoomy and Zoomy's brother at the same time. It's kind of pushing these out, but that's going to be fine because we're going to fix that right now. I'm going to go back to Zoomy's brother. And we're going to go ahead and when it starts to transform like this, um, the last keyframe we have for Zoomy's brother is on 140. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move 140 back. So I'm going to hit G and I'm going to move this back to just a little tiny bit before 135, which is the first keyframe for Zoomy coming back in. So then on frame 142, I'm going to change Zoomy's brother all the way down to zero. And then, hit, then hit I. So now you can see when we keyframe to this, it very nicely transitions between the diamond back to the cube, and it looks very smooth and very cool. So I'm going to make our end frame 175, 175, hit enter, and now we can go ahead and play this. As you can see, it comes in, does the diamond thing, goes back, and it looks really cool. I'm going to turn my overlays off. That is just very cool. Absolutely love this. The last thing I want to do really quickly is I'm going to go ahead and actually rotate this. So on the first frame, I'm going to hit I, rotation, then on frame 10, I'm going to hit R, Y, 90, hit uh, I, rotation, and then I'm actually going to go to frame 150, hit I, rotation, but back on frame 10, I want to kind of make this not rotate as far, so I'm going to hit uh, R, Y, and then I turn it a little bit like this, and then hit I, rotation, so now you can see when we play this, it kind of rotates like that, which is really cool. And then it comes back, which is so cool. I don't want to do too much rotation because I want you to focus on the diamond thing going on here. But that is going to be it for today's tutorial. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. I really enjoy stuff like this. Loading, animation, kind of motion graphic style as well because it's very flat. But again, I mean, then again, it's, it's a loading screen. It kind of has to be. But I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye. <laughs>